One thing that we probably all use on a daily basis is copy and paste, control C and control V. On this document, if I wanted to insert my district's logo, which I have right here saved as a Google drawing, I can go over to this and I'm going to copy this with control C or command C on a Mac. Then I'm gonna go back to my document and press control V or command V on a Mac to paste it in. Now, this is a great feature. This is something that we use frequently. But let's say I wanted to use this logo all the time. Maybe I'm putting it on different presentations I'm creating. It's something I need to access in the future. Or maybe it's something I wanna access on different devices and I don't wanna take the time to go to Drive, find the file, open it up, control C, control V. There is a better way. So Google has something called the Google Web Clipboard. What the Google Web Clipboard does is it saves what's in the clipboard in the cloud. And so you can have something that you open up on any computer. If you open up a document, whatever's saved in your clipboard, you'll be able to add to your document. So let's see how to do that. If I go back to my logo and I have my image selected, I'm gonna go up to the edit menu. And in the edit menu, I'm gonna choose web clipboard and I'm gonna copy the shape to the web clipboard. When I do that, now I'm gonna go back to my Google Doc and to insert it, I'm gonna to go to edit, go to web clipboard, and here I can hover over shape and I see my logo that I could then add to my document. Now, if I was on a different Google Doc, if I was on a different computer, I have access to that image saved on that web clipboard for up to 30 days or unless I clear that from the clipboard. You can do it with text, images, etc. So let's say I was in this Google slideshow for a presentation that I've given. I use my badges on my different slides and so that might be something I want to keep in my web clipboard. Or here we have Key Rockstar coming up this summer. We're going to be hosting it at Redwood City and then one of the schools in my district. So I'm going to copy that or um, just select that image. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to add it to my web clipboard. Now when I go back to my document, I'm going to go to edit, web clipboard, and I can hover over these shapes and see which what the image is and I can actually paste it right here. Notice that when I went to the web clipboard, I had multiple things saved in my clipboard. I didn't have to worry about it being erased. If I wanted to add my logo, I can add that logo again, even though the last thing I copied was the poster. As a bonus, maybe you want to have a clipboard, a web clipboard for anything that you use online. There is a Chrome extension that works with anything that you copy and paste when you're using the Chrome browser and it's called the Clipboard History 2 Chrome extension. Up here at the top, you can see my extensions. I have this green little clipboard. When I click on that, what it will do is it will pop up anything that I've copied previously, and it tells you how long ago in the past you had copied it. So here I did the website for Clipboard Tool Help. I have lots of different things, and it tells me when I last selected them. So if I wanted this link to the new Chrome Music Lab, I can click on that. And then when I go to my document, I can paste that. And that was something that I copied five hours ago.